Good morning. So forgiveness, right? Um, we're talking about forgiveness. <sighs> you know, I want to just encourage you. I want to tell you that um, you might look at the person next to you and you might think that they have it all sewn up. They have it all together. Um, they're doing everything right. I mean, look at their pictures on Facebook, right? They're always smiling. They always have their Sunday best on. They're always at the beach. <laughs> they always make the best food, right? Um, you may look at the person next to you and you may think that they have it all sewn up. I want to tell you that um, the person next to you, they don't have it all sewn up. They don't have it all sewn up. Some purposely put on a smile and pretend that they have it all sewn up because they can't stand the pain of not. Some refuse to take the trip inside and deal with their own stuff. So they just keep on smiling and, and talking about you like, yeah, you really need to get it together. You really need to get your stuff taken care of. Some people will never let you know that they have a weakness. Some people will never recognize themselves that they have a weakness. Some people will recognize that they have a weakness and try to keep everyone else from knowing it. And you know, I probably fall a little bit into every single one of those categories. Depends on what day of the week it is. Um, but I gotta tell you that the Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There's a bright side to that. And, and it follows that part of the Bible in the New Testament and it says, but we're justified freely by God. So we talked about this before about just asking God to forgive you, you know, for whatever it is that's going on. But what I want to encourage you with today is it's a pretty big deal that you get it, that you have not arrived. It's a pretty big deal that you are willing to say, I need to learn. I need to grow. I need to become more. I need to, um, act differently. I need to change some things. It's a pretty big deal that you are willing to undergo the pain of allowing layers of yourself to be stripped away to reveal the light that God has put in you. It's a pretty big deal. It's a brave thing. It is one of the most courageous things that you can do to say, I'm not okay. I don't have this all sewn up. I'm not even sure I know how to get okay. Those are some brave words. Those are some brave aspirations. Growth is painful. Growth is painful. Do you remember when you were a kid and your legs used to hurt? You're like, why do my legs hurt? Your moms are, that's just growing pains. Okay, it is just growing pains, but it hurts. It hurts. Revealing the new you hurts. It hurts to work muscles and, and, and get strong. It hurts. But the results, huh? The results. So that's what we're looking for here, the results. And you know, those results will become evident. The guy next to you who's acting like he has it sewn up and has it all together, he also is not lifting the heavy weights. So in about a month or two, you're going to see what he doesn't have. So I want to encourage you today, stay brave. Stay brave. Stay courageous. Work through the pain that comes with growing because this you is going to be 
the best you that you've ever seen. And it all begins with laying it down, whatever it is, <laughs> whatever it is. And for me today, again, it is unforgiveness. It all begins with laying it down to a God who says, hey, it's okay. Everyone has done this. Yay to you for being willing to admit that you have. Bring it to a God who is full of compassion and mercy and say, here it is. Here's all the junk. Please take it and please forgive me. Not only does he forgive you, but in the Bible it says that he forgave you before you ever even committed the atrocity that you committed. Think about it. Jesus died for all your sins over 2,000 years ago. He died and rose again. He took all your sins upon himself. Think about that. Before you ever even did it, he already forgave you. You just need to confess it to him. You just need to confess it to him. Let's do that today. Think of the one thing that sucks in your life and just confess it to God. Thank him that he forgives you. You guys, you're brave. You're courageous. It's going to be a great day.